Now, writing in yesterday's You magazine, journalist Kira Cochran commented on what she sees as an epidemic of female depression in the UK and suggests that it could well be down to women just trying to do too much. She says, despite having more money and greater freedom than our mothers ever had, a whole generation of women is buckling under the pressure of having it all. Now, also on this topic, Janet Street Porter suggested over the weekend that the epidemic is more of a fad, with more and more women claiming to be suffering from depression. So, do you think that there is um, a, a grain of truth to this? Is having it all and that culture to blame for women who are claiming to be depressed probably far too readily? Well, I do think that women put a lot of pressure on themselves, and you know, I've never felt the pressure—the uh, pressure to have it all or to do it all, as you as you know, as I've just said. Um, so, I, I don't know. I, I'm, I read Janet Street Porter's article as well. I read, read both those articles, and I was, I was really, really interested in it, because although I do, I do actually sway on the side of Janet Street Porter with this, because she wasn't being completely cynical in that she accepts that there is an illness, a mental illness, <laughs> called depression. <laughs> Um, you know, there, and there is, and I absolutely know there is, because I know people who have it. But what she was saying, and what I think, is that a lot of the time, people who are just maybe having a bad time are diagnosed with clinical depression when it actually isn't. And, and I know for sure, for, because a lot of people I know have done it, have been to the doctors because of something that, you know, something in, in their life hasn't gone according to plan, and something bad has happened. Think Bad things happen all the time to everybody, and they have been prescribed almost instantly with antidepressants, which really concerns me and worries me. So that is actually making a diagnosis of depression, when maybe it isn't mm. real depression. And the other thing I want to say as well, with, um, especially with, with Janet saying what she said in the paper on Saturday, it is one of those things that if you've never suffered from it, and as far as I know, I haven't, you know, I've had bad times, I've had bad days, bad years, in fact. Um, you would know but if it's you've difficult. suffered from Well, I know, I know I would, but that's, that's what I mean. It's difficult. It's really difficult to talk about and, and, and say anything about it because people who are depressed or have had depression think that they're the only ones who can mm. talk about but it. That's but that's why... Can't. I don't that's understand why, it. That's why people like Janet Street Porter come in. You know, if there are a few people who maybe have been misdiagnosed, if there are a few people who are saying they're depressed when they're not, I just hope that these type of articles don't stop people talking about clinical depression, people being allowed to say that they've... That, you know, it is one of the most serious, horrible, isolating illnesses, and I know I do tend to get on my soapbox as a result of having suffered from it myself, but it just really, really, really irritates me that there is still such a stigma and such a taboo. And, okay, I do know that there are certain life things that antidepressants won't help, and I hope that that's what she's getting at. But one of the things that I think Janet Street Porter says, she refers to Marion Keyes, the novelist, who is, at the moment, I know, undergoing a really serious depression and has suffered for many years of, mm. of, of depression. And Janet Street Porter refers to her as, as the multi-millionaire Marion Keyes. It makes not a blind bit of bleeping difference mm. how much money people yeah. have got, what their social status is. You know, it doesn't make any difference whatsoever. So those type of references just to me just just yep. put just put things into the dark ages again and make people who are sitting at home watching a show like that reading those things frightened to say I'm clinically depressed she also says which which I may quote is that she says well isn't it funny that that people from the slums of Rio or people who are shelf stackers from Croydon don't suffer from clinical depression how the but how does she know what those people are? So, of course, there's going to be people suffering from clinical depression. And I know that there are times that you can snap out of it. You can pull yourself t together. And I understand that if somebody's parent has died, if a boyfriend has left them, mm. I agree that that doesn't mean that they, are a, that they should be given I necessarily think it's antidepressants. I understanding it, though, Denise, as well, because I don't understand it. No. Because, the, I, you know, there's been a couple of times, actually twice in my life, that I've thought I was getting depressed or I was depressed when I had Jake and I, I couldn't get out of the, the black I couldn't stop crying for two full days I could not stop crying I wanted to but some people I could two full years though. yes I know and then so I went to the doctors and she gave me uh, antidepressants now I didn't have enough information whether to take them or not so I looked at them for a week and thought shall I or shan't I was scared to take them didn't want to get addicted then I took Jake who just never stopped screaming, and I, I didn't particularly like him at that point, took him to a, co a coffee shop, sat outside, and I just, I, I was very, very down. And I put him on my knee, he started to get a bit grumpy, and I was like rocking him, and he was like dropping him, and he was laughing, and, and it made me laugh. And this woman completely changed, changed how I felt about what I was going through. She looked at me, she went, oh, look, she said, you know, I love that, a mother's love, it's a beautiful sight, bye-bye. And I looked at her, and, she, and I just... I thought, my God, I do look at it. Because, yeah, I can get out of 
because you didn't have postnatal depression. You had a normal exactly. reaction to but having I didn't a baby. Know. You didn't know. Yeah. I baby didn't know. So I'm saying she doesn't know. And if somebody hasn't gone through what you've of gone course. through, you Which don't know. Which is why people have got to be free to yeah. talk about it. And I just Absolutely. hope that they don't feel that they, that they, you know, I can't say that I'm depressed because it's the new black. I just hope that it doesn't But can it be effect. triggered by just not having it all? I don't know. I can only talk about my own experiences. Well, I, don't, I don't know, Carol. Well, we all know and understand that clinical depression is an illness. And if uh, you need help on that or uh, you want to discuss it, well, then why not go to the website? All the links are there to help you out. That's itv.com forward slash loose women. Okay, time for a quick break.